Phage infection of multi-drug resistant E. coli. The purpose of this lab was to find out if antibiotic resistance inhibits bacteriophages. Antibiotic resistance has been a growing problem in the United States for decades. Antibiotics are now called societal drugs, since antibiotic resistance can be passed from bacteria to bacteria and can pass from person to person. Antibiotic use and antibiotic resistance can eventually affect an entire community. We often think that if we just go to the doctor and get a dose of antibiotics, everything will go back to normal and be fine. If you continually expose infected bacteria with the same antibiotic, it can become resistant over time. However, some bacteria are lucky enough to escape the mutation and can conjugate and replace the resistant bacteria. But with all the mutations, scientists have to continue to make new... <clears throat> When bacteriophages infect bacteria, the virus attaches to the receptors on the cell membrane, then injects the genetic material into the host cell slash bacteria. Those genes incorporate themselves into the genome of that bacteria, and therefore the bacteria has no choice but to reproduce new viral particles. And then, when the virus cells are cut open to reproduce, it attacks the bacteria and kills it. By experimenting with antibiotic-resistant bacteria and bacteriophages, I found that antibiotic-resistant bacteria inhibits the viral infection slash bacteriophage. From the data I collected, it shows that if the bacteria is antibiotic-resistant, you will not get as many results as you do with normal bacteria. I found that regular E. coli that was not conjugated to become antibiotic-resistant had more plaques than the antibiotic-resistant E. coli because the antibiotic resistance inhibits the viral infection. On the 1 to 10 dilution plates, I had the best results. Both plates had distinct plaques and showed the best results out of all eight plates. These results might suggest if our bodies become antibiotic resistant, it will not be a good idea to convert to bacteriophages because the resistant more often than not stops the phage from working. More tests would need to be done to prove this theory. After so many years of taking antibiotics, most of people's bodies are already slowly becoming antibiotic resistant. And with antibiotic resistance being able to be inherited through genes passed down from generations, there is no way around it. So after taking those concerns into consideration, is it really worth switching to bacteriophages? Will bacteriophages ever have a 100% chance of working to get rid of viral infections? These are the kinds of questions that this experiment has left me asking. After analyzing my results, it leads me to wonder what was actually inhibiting the bacteriophage from infecting the antibiotic-resistant bacteria. My next steps will be to do more background research on this topic and find out what is keeping the bacteriophage from, from infecting the E. coli.